Find the area of the region in the first quadrant bounded by the parabolas, parabolae, parabolas. Y equals X squared and Y equals one quarter, one fourth. X squared, four zero, less than X, less than square root of two. Okay, so the idea here is we have a coordinate plane like so. Hmm. And we have two parabolas, one kind of like this. And then I'll say one, which has to be, of course, a different color kind of like this and we're given a value was it square root of two i think it's square root of two square root of two square root of two right here and it's asking for the area region bounded between the two and so we need to find out which one is bigger hmm so let's see square root of two is like 1.4 maybe yeah about 1.4 so if we put in one y of one for this, we'll get one. We'll call this y1, call this y2. y2, oh, no, nope, that was y of y. Oh, y2, one would be one fourth. So I will postulate that y, this is x squared and this is one fourth x squared. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna find the area of the top one minus the area of the bottom one and that will give us the region bounded. So to do that, bum, 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 we will do, that's supposed to be one fourth. Oh, there we go. Integral zero square root of two of x squared minus one fourth x squared dx. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. So this is our game plan. This is first quadrant, right? First quadrant. Okay, so this is the first quadrant. So I think it goes first, second, third, fourth. Okay, it follows the same way that like um, an angle theta would be for like the unit circle. Okay. Is that all we need? Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. So we have zero square root of two. We'll factor out an x squared and we get three fourths. One minus one fourth, three fourths. Um, dx. Bring that to the outside. 0 squared of 2, x squared. I know I could have done the integral of each of them, but I think it's easier to do it this way. Fewer opportunities for mistakes. And let's do a 3 fourths x cubed over 3, evaluated from 0 to square root of 2, square root of 2. And that gives us equals... 3 fourths times, all right, now we need to do square root of 2, which is just 2 to the 1 half. So I'll do 2 to the 1 half. I'll do it this way. Yeah, right like this. I know, it's always the algebra that seems to be the hardest part. So we have, wait a sec. Is that right? Maybe right. Ooh, forgot the 3. Good call, guys. Oops, cancel. So we have... This equals square root of 2 squared will be 2 times the square root of 2 over 4, which will then be square root of 2 over 2. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That seemed reasonably straightforward. Surprisingly easy, deceptively simple. Aha! It's even a possible answer. Aha, good for us. Good for us. Okay. Oh, Got to circle the answer with a ooh, blue. Light blue, baby blue, possibly cyan. Okay, so we wanted to find the area of the region, check. First quadrant, check. Bounded by x squared, check and check. Zero to square root of two, yeah, okay. So idea here is, first thing you do is you draw the problem out. Um, you can graph this on your calculator. Um, it won't take that long and it's probably worth it, but, mm, it's hit or miss. Um, if you feel really confident, go for it without drawing it. If you have a little bit extra time and you're a little bit uncertain, definitely take your calculator out and graph it, assuming you're allowed to. Um, from there, we take the integral to find the area under the curve. So we find the area. So from a understanding point of view, what we did was we took the integral of the first pro problem, find the area under this, and then we subtracted off the area of the second 
like this, leaving us with just this area right there, the bounded region. And that's why we did x squared minus 1 fourth x squared, evaluated the integral, and solved. Not too bad. So that's how we found the um, area of this bounded region. Thank you much. See you in the next problem.